In this video, the first in a series about electric vehicles, I'm taking a look at the dongle from the Charge the North program. This is from a Canadian company called Fleet Karma, and they're collecting statistics from electric vehicle drivers on where they charge, when they charge, and other data points. Opening up the box, this is some Amazon style packing here. All of this and a tiny little box because that's how small an OBD adapter is. Pretty standard OBD dongle, just like anything you'd use to scan codes or uh, for insurance. Two lights at the top, just plug it in. It's got its own connection so it will transmit data on its own. No need to connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or anything else. Plugging the dongle into your car's onboard diagnostics port, most are located in the driver's footwell. On some newer cars, like the Tesla Model 3, it doesn't have an OBD port, which was originally designed for emissions, but the dongle is still compatible with an adapter. The dongle also works with OBD splitters in case you have an existing dongle that you need to use simultaneously. So here's a look at the Charge the North website, which has all the information about the program. So again, it is a free program. It lets you get your stats trip data, temperature, charging level, the health of your battery, and anything else that's plugged into your car. You can register and it has all the different vehicles available in Canada. At the bottom are frequently asked questions. So one thing that a lot of people are going to ask is what data does it collect? So charging information, driving information, and location data. So it does record where your car is, as well as where it's been. GPS data is not shared. And no one outside of Fleet Karma gets to see an individual's location. On to actual useful data. So here's the i3. Total charging. Consumption. Average starting, average starting percentage. Average ending percentage. So I'm on a level one because my condo doesn't have uh, chargers yet. Level two charging, DC fast charging. You can actually pull up data for all the different hours and days. Moving over to actual trip data. You can see all the distance, idling, charger losses, battery health. This is important if you have a car like a Nissan Leaf, which doesn't have active thermal management. And then here you can actually see all the different charging, when you're actually charging, when you're using the car, overnight charging, etc. Here's the dashboard for a second dongle, this one on an e-golf. So total charging, energy consumption, average start, average stop. This one does have access to a level 2 charger, so most of the charging is on level 2. Going over to vehicle reports, odometer, energy consumed, charger losses. Unfortunately there's no data on the battery health. It's not reported, but this would have been useful for the e-golf because it has an air-cooled battery and not a liquid-cooled battery. Again, similar stuff, charging, stopping, car in use, etc. When you go down to the line items for all the different trips, you can actually click on them and it will map it out. And of course, you can export all the data as a CSV file. So this is very useful if you don't have a smart charger that gives you all your data and it allows you to track all your charging wherever you go. So if you use a public charger, if you use an IKEA charger, uh, etc. So that's the Charge to North dongle. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, thanks for watching.